supposed to record this. I don't know how to take film very well, so we'll see how this goes. Sometimes you have to do something else. And this particular, that was the first time I went there, I was to give the blind care for speech. And here I stand, if you recognize the people, you wrap me standing in the background there for example. Not very often you have to talk to the rest. This is Kibitza, this is Springer, this is, uh, I'll forget the guy. This is the professor and so on. So it was a very great thing to give a, be able to give a talk to all these people. And I was more nervous that time. So sometimes you have to, as I said, I gave them my care for speech. Sometimes you have to do something else than giving a talk. I tell you, they had put me up on a panel discussion on global warming. I said I have to be on this panel discussion because I know I probably don't agree with most other people. But they forced me to, but they forced me to, but they begged me to, and I decided to go on a global warming. And after that, and it was, uh, they, they put the, actually they put the whole discussion on the internet. But it only lasted there for like one week. And I think that because most of the other Nobel Prize winners said something very stupid things, you know, that didn't want it up there. When I took it up, I have no idea. So, as a result of this discussion, I looked at myself, Gaber, and drew the warning. And I got 38,900 hits. And the reason for that was that according to me then, I said I was a skeptic, and I said global warming has become a new religion. You can't discuss global warming. Then you are, I don't know what you are, a denier, I guess you are. And the interesting thing is that I get all these hits, and I never claim I know anything about global warming. Actually, all I knew at that time was I spent two hours on Google before I went into <laughs> but I was horrified, <coughs> and I will talk a little bit about that. So science comes in many forms, as you know. You can have real science, which I hope that you will do. You can have pathological science, that means you fool yourself. And that's very common by scientists, that they do something, they think they made a great discovery, but it really is all wrong. Then you have fraudulent science. If you do fraudulent science, of course, you're very often found out. And I'll advise you in fraudulent science, if you decide to do that, do something.
something which are not important. <laughs> but then nobody will check you, and everything is fine. You can, for example, publish something about global warming. Nobody will check that. And then we had junk science, which is what medical doctors normally do. <coughs> China has been polluted, but they have a growth rate of 11 to 